Hey guys, it's Jager 262 and I'm bringing you some gameplay of the M10 RBFM. Now this isn't part of the review that I said earlier, the no gameplay review. This is just me in the tank. I'm just playing it right now and thought while I'm doing it, I might as well record it and show you guys at least why I have such a bad time with this. Now we're in a pretty good matchup right in the middle and that's nice. Now I'm just moving down to the G9 line. Hopefully I will get some shots from the light tanks that are scouting these little hills over here. But we'll see. This thing doesn't have enough armor to go through. Doesn't have enough armor. I'm sorry, it doesn't have enough penetration to go through the two big medium tanks that just showed up. So I'm gonna try to pull away from here. I don't want to get caught in the pincer since this is actually relatively lightly defended. I'm gonna move back towards base and just try to keep safe. Anyway, hopefully you guys watch your review of this vehicle and like it. Uh, I don't know, I haven't seen too many comments on it yet. I just haven't been checking. So I don't know how many people like this vehicle, how many people hate it. If I'm alone, if it's just me not being able to play it. Who knows? Obviously, this looks bad now since it just out in the open. A very slow tank destroyer waiting for impending doom. Let me see if I can at least hit something today. Alright, shot into that Valentine. Second one kills him. Excellent. That's what I mean, like, it's not awful. Like, I made it sound catastrophically bad in my review today because that's just been kind of the experience that it happened with it but it makes mid-range shots just fine i'm trying to pull back behind the bushes here increase that camo factor it does have good view range i'll give it that it's not it's not this it's not as terrible as i made it sound but it's not good either and you'll see what i mean by that Whoa, nice. We got into the louche there for a quick kill, and now this is probably going to be the last thing I do, because... Ooh, actually hit his turret. That is a powerful vehicle. Oh, wow. Got flint. Miss. See, I was about to say that's the gun's fault, but that's my fault for auto-aiming. Pick up our third kill in this vehicle, and we got spotted, so we're probably going to get killed by either... The DK was over there, or the T25. So, that sucks. Relatively quick game, but I picked up three light tank kills, and that's always fun, always fun. Uh, for 622 damage, so again, not terrible. You can see the gun handling there, pretty alright. I'm going to get out of this game, and I'm probably going to record multiple games in a line of this, so you won't get to see a lot of post-game stats unless I die towards the end. But as you'll see, the trend here is that this vehicle does not last that long. Although we are kind of halfway through the game. 86. 622. Not great damage in it, but better than anything I was doing yesterday. So maybe I was just having a bad day yesterday. But we'll see. Alright, so post-game stats. It took a little bit longer to finish than I thought it would. 21,000 credits and 1,500 experience. That puts us at second place for experience earned, and I think it makes us like top five, two, four, yeah, fifth place in damage. Not bad, not good, but we get to keep 18,000 credits. So, works for me. Alrighty, game two is in Lakeville. And again, not used to playing TDs, so I'm just gonna go into the valley here and hopefully, or Mountain Pass, as the other Wolverine is saying, and he's covering it from way over there. Where is he? I don't see him. I don't know. Um, let them crest. He's right. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm going to try to get up here and... Yeah, that's not possible. I do not have the engine power to do that. Nope. 
I'm gonna just kinda see if I can catch any vehicles poking over the, uh, the ridge line here and use maybe some snap some shots into the enemy. This thing doesn't have crazy good gun depression as I showed you. And even though we're in a pretty good matchup, this is playing a little bit aggressively. Uh, so I'm going to try and pull back and just wait for them. Artillery's probably going to kill, yeah, one of those two guys, if not both of them. And so me and this M4 are going to have to pretty much lock everything down through this choke point or bottleneck. But we have a T-67 helping us, so we should be okay. Only problem is, now that I've put myself in this position, it is going to be very hard to attack enemy vehicles. So, we'll see. I believe this thing has 8 degrees of gun depression. Could be wrong. The M4 is gonna... Okay, so that's one of the M10s gone. So I feel like it's safe enough to move up, even though I am in the Artie's firing line, which is never a good place to be in a vehicle this thinly armored. Alright, lock on, and on the move, hit that shot, get the kill. So yeah, this tank, this tank destroyer is not as bad as I made it sound. I made it sound really bad. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh. Why would he do that? <laughs> and that's how you get shot in the back. Alright, through the gun mantlet, and Artie takes him out. Wow, alright. And, oh, what? Wow. Alright, well, that sucks. Out of the two, he got me and not the M4. So, who knows. But overall, uh, it's a bad game. Bad game for me. Only 237 damage, 136 spotting. So that's what I mean. Even in good matchups, it just doesn't have a lot of survivability. Uh, I just, I can't believe that. Oh well. I don't think I'm going to do post-game stats for the rest of the games. I'm just going to play them back to back to back. So you guys can get a better feel for this tank destroyer. But, I got to be honest. As far as gun handling goes, it was not as bad as I remember it being yesterday. So I really do think I just had a just had a bad day. I don't know. We'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, sorry for the random vehicle in the middle, but I cannot actually stay alive long enough, as you just saw in that game. So while I'm waiting for that game to finish, I thought while I'm giving tanks a second chance, I would revisit the King Tiger Sea. And it looks like I made a good choice. We're on Erlenberg or Ruinberg. Ruinberg, my bad. And I am top tier. So I'm going to camp out right here and just try and use my amazing frontal armor in this vehicle to punish some enemy players. Hopefully I'll see some. There goes one right now. Right into his side. Oops, didn't see that heavy tank six, but I'm not worried about him. I'm more worried about the Achilles, to be honest. Yeah, my frontal armor's doing its job. Word of the Ring Heights! How did that not go into his... what? Alright, well that was a miss at point blank. Hit the heavy tank number six. Easy. He just is going to keep bouncing me. I imagine he's pulling his hair out right now. He cannot pen any part of this tank frontally, so... I'm not worried about him. I cannot believe that I missed that Achilles. No, oh, you win some, you lose some, right? I want to push, and I know I should, but I don't want to get completely destroyed by all the mediums camping this area. And there's a 
T3045. Okay, I'm actually going to push up with this tank destroyer. And hopefully the two of us can lock down this strip. Try not to overexpose myself here. Wow, another miss. Yeah, this gun handling is not as good as the Tiger one. That could just be the crew, but with the penetration this thing has, he's, he's doing his best. But Whoa! I stand corrected. It didn't go through. And now he penetrated me. I'm gonna push up. Almost got hit by that T-3045. He penetrated me again. Oh, because he's using APCR. Wow. He would. Now I'm going to back off. Yeah, he's got me right proper scared. Into his... Ah, and he hits me again in the side for almost 200. Uh, I normally would be upset, but I mean, I can't blame him for wanting to use special rounds. And this tank has clearly got OP armor for this tier. I'm going to try to... Okay, well, I'm going to try to let this heavy tank take the blow. All right, all my heavies are here to support me. Love that. Ah, oh, that sucks. Poor guy. Bit it, ate it. Wow, a ricochet. Trying to protect this KV-1. Okay, now he's gone, so I guess I did protect him. Kind of face my opponent frontally, and let's see if we can't finally nail him down. He's good, but the only thing protecting him really is the T-3045, so... I'm gonna be a little bit more brazen, but I gotta give my time... I gotta give my gun time to aim. My mistake? <sighs> He's really not going to give me an inch. He's not even going to try to fire at me. Oh, 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 window of opportunity. Nope. He's too angled. Wow. Props to the TD. He's had enough of him. And I kill him. 205 to finally shut him down. Now going for the 40 TP. Man, that was hard. Well, not really hard. It was just annoying. Just annoying. Gulliver's Travels. Where did this guy come from? He's going to try to hit me with that howitzer and won't be able to get a shot off before he's destroyed. Mission granted. Alright, you're just punishing this enemy team. I oh, gotta kill. Gotta get the kill. Nope. Rolled low for only 260. Actually, 265 I think is a high roll for me. Okay. This was a great game. 1900 damage. I'm feeling pretty alright. Secure to kill, and the only person left is. What was that? A T67. Alright. Come <laughs> on. Good game. Good game in the King Tiger Sea. So, again, I think maybe I was just unlucky when I did the review for the. Well, I wasn't lucky when I did the review for this vehicle. Like I said, 4 out of 10. Fun to play. I maintain that. That was just a really good matchup. Top tier. Can't really mess top tier up. 39,000 credits, almost 40,000. Well, three away from 40. So I'll count 40,000 credits, 4,500 experience. Puts me second place in the team for damage at 1,900. And second with 779 experience. So hats off to Storm Season in the P43 tear. Amazing game for you, sir. We get to keep 32,000, and then we get to keep. Well, all the experience, obviously. I don't know why I did that. So, yeah. Great game in that vehicle. Let's get back to the M10. Alright, back in the M10. And... We are on Mountain Pass. I don't know why I can't remember the names tonight. But, another good matchup. Top tier. And, I don't really know where I'm going to go. 
for this game. I kind of just want to stay in the middle and snipe across as my view range can do that. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We should be able to catch somebody. With that louche there, we should be able to spot, yeah. Oh, whiffed it. Whiffed it again. Because I'm aiming right at the ground for some reason. Okay, well... That was bad. Okay, now I'm aiming too high. Too low. And we missed it. See, this is why I don't like... At anything longer than mid-range, this vehicle will not hit it. No matter what. But... Well, well hold, up, hold the phone here. Because the Panzer 5-4 has crazy armor. It has almost KV-1 levels of armor. So I'm just gonna actually scoot across the bridge here and attack the M10 that's on the bridge. Oh, he's already dead, so one less problem for me to solve. This is actually a pretty quick game for my team. They're kind of really pushing the A7 uh, line really well. Uh, this aim time is going to kill me. Finally got a hit today. Man. I don't know why I've been going all crazy with these misses. Uh oh. The other tier 5 French tank destroyer hit him. And he backs off. I will back off. Stoog in my way. Stoog in my way. Stoog's just doing what Stoog's do, I guess. Oh, there's just two four that I was talking about. All right, well, there you go. There's something. Nice hit. In his track. Now he's dead. I'm gonna try and over. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Okay, I can't hit him anyway. Oh man! Artillery hit me. Hard. That is a hard hit, 154 at But, still going strong, just a light tank. It's about to get obliterated at an artillery piece that's... Well, might as well already be dead. So, only 405 damage for all the damage that we took. Not a, Again, not a stellar game. So, I maintain what I said. It's a nice trinket, it's a fun vehicle, but it's not... It's not gonna break the bank, I don't believe any of the guys saying that they're gonna triple mark this thing into crate it's possible I just don't see it happening I will admit that I'm gonna redact a lot of what I said in the review about having a bad gun uh, although I've been getting some good matchups you gotta understand that when I made when I played all my test games before doing the review I was playing at bottom tier and so I had a bigger impact on my review than I thought but another pretty okay game and another victory this thing's actually one of my better tanks in terms of win rate, which is kind of upsetting much. Uh, it's 14,000, 640 experience. Average of the team, not worse, not best. Gets key 12,000. And yeah, it's a win rate of 64%, so that's actually pretty high for a class I don't play. Right, let's get into more gameplay. Or. I actually want to show you some games in the Firefly. I really like this. I'm going to do another King Tiger video, and then I think, or another King Tiger game, and then I think it'll be done. I think I've seen enough. We've seen enough of the M10 RBFM. Um, it's better than I thought, but this medium tank is really good, and I did not expect it to be as good as it is. So I'm going to play a game of this, and then a King Tiger, and then I'll be done for the night. <laughs> All right, on uh, Muravanka in the Sherman Firefly BC. It's the premium counterpart to the Sherman Firefly, and I really love this tank. Aside from its powerful 17-pounder gun, it's got great mobility and great aim time. Well, that is the gun, but 
it's just a well-rounded vehicle, fast firing, just amazing. It's basically a Sherman with a good gun, that's all the Firefly was. However, what I hear from other people is that this version of the tank is much better than the normal Firefly. I don't know, I don't play the British medium tank line, or at least that one, I just, I do the Cromwell one. So I have no idea, but if it's anything like this one, I think it's a decent tank. And hopefully, for the fourth or fifth game tonight, this will be a pleasant surprise. Good MM, top tier, so tonight's pretty lucky. I will do a review, a full review on this vehicle, just because it's part of the D-Day specials. So I picked one up, and it was well worth it. A fun, well-rounded medium tank for its tier. Looks like I'm the only one here, though, so I'm going to try and pull back. Just like how I got in trouble when I was here the first time in the French M10. There was kind of nobody on my team pushing, so I don't really know what I'm expected to do. Just gonna back up and pray, I suppose. I have no idea what this M4 is doing. He's not even looking. I don't know why. Why we're just giving them all of this room to operate. Uh, but they're just going to sweep through this entire flank here and just obliterate us. But I guess that's okay with the rest of the team, so it'll be okay with me. Okay. Nailed them again. Great gun. Quick aim time. Oh, stop auto-aiming. Hit him again. I wish I could hit him again. Oops, got spotted. Go for the kill, and we spotted... Oh, we didn't spot the French light tank, but somebody else took him out. Oh, the M4. Alright, he's got my back. Sherman's got to stick together. Oh, three rounds, 360. Pretty low DPM. Oh, wow. Two marks excellent. Alright. That Sherman player is a lot more experienced than I am, so we're just going to... We're going to stick with him. Uh, I don't really want to. I know that there's at least the Zoo 85 around here. He's probably sniping from either this location where he was last spotted or he's moved into this location sniping this way. And I'm guessing that there's another medium tank with him. Oh, no, there's not. Oh, it's just him. Well, what are we waiting for? Oh. <laughs> I don't know why the other M4 wouldn't move up. It's just that read the mini map. That's a big thing that I don't always do, but read the map. This stuff is there for a reason. We have been holding off on this flank and we could have been cutting across the B line to secure this win, and we just weren't because we're afraid that one Zoo 85 is going to kill all three of us. Unlikely. I really hope it doesn't do it now. <laughs> but it's unlikely. It probably won't happen. It would suck if it did. You have to be one hell of a Zoo 85 player, though. Although what could happen, what probably will happen, is he will spot us for artillery. But you know what? Sky Cancer is going to be Sky Cancer. You can't really deal with that. Oh my gosh. Amazing camouflage on that vehicle. He misses, flounders the shot, point blank. And uh, the light tank kills him. So now all we got to do is pretty much just mop up the rest of this game. And we're good to go. Not going to make a lot of damage in this tank. Just because when it's top tier like this, it's so good. That you're just picking up scraps like that and just getting kills. And so your low average damage, or your low alpha of about 130. Is going to prevent you from making really crazy gains. Unless you're in the game for a really long time. But that doesn't mean that you can't. I mean, this is an exceptional medium tank in my opinion. Well, okay, exceptional has been a little bit too generous. It's good. I like it. I'm having a good time in this game. Almost at 100% health. And now we're just in cleanup mode. Here has got three more tanks to take care of and it's a win. So again, when I do my review for this vehicle, I'm going to play a lot more battles than I already have in it to form a better opinion. But with the other two, I was having a really bad night when I did the M10, and it was bad. And my review reflected that, and I just want to say, it seems to have a better gun handling, but I'm also having a really lucky night, so it's the opposite. I'm all top tier tonight, 
and all the games are going exceptional. Well, not the M10 ones, they're pretty average, but these are going exceptionally well for me. I mean, so love this tank. It's a tough little medium. Yeah, it puts this in the middle for damage, a little bit higher for experience earned. We get to keep 16,000, so almost the whole thing because we didn't do we didn't get any damage done only 200 credits so it's a good tank I really like it I'm gonna do a full review and more gameplay of this tank because I like it so much and then I'm going to do a T-34 one because this is my best tank right now it's 71% win rate it is an absolute monster and I love it but for the last game tonight I'm gonna go back to the King Tiger C and see if I can have another good game with it or if I could just make another opinion because I'm kind of 180ing on these two vehicles. I don't think this one's really that great, but it might be a little bit more enjoyable to play than I let on. I still don't like this vehicle, but at least it holds its own, so I'm going to play a game in this, and then that's going to be it for this video. On Sand River, and I am bottom tier in a tier 9 match. So, perhaps my luck has run out in tonight's games. I want, I'm tempted to do the river like all other heavy tanks, but... There's no way I'm going to punch the armor of my tier 9 opponents. And there's no way I can really go anywhere out in the open there. The Tiger's going to go snipe, which is exactly what I should be doing, or would be doing if I was in my Tiger 1. I just don't trust this vehicle to snipe that well, so I'm going to follow the T10 and stay clear of the river and try to play the B and C lines. Let's see how that goes. But this is, these are kind of the games that I was trying to play when I recorded the first video I did of all the gameplay for the review of this tank. And it's just, although there were some games in there where I was top tier and I didn't do nearly as nicely as it did today. So, I don't know, maybe I'm just lucky tonight. Getting spotted, though, is not fun. Trying to keep moving so that way Artie can't pen me. Or hit me, really. He's not going to pen me either way. Looks like a Targa 1 and an AMX 65 went into the river, so. Those are tempting. Those are tempting, tempting. Tempting, tempting tanks. I want to head back to the river. I'm going to go for it. Oh, no. The tier. <laughs> I was wondering when the Type 4 would show up. This is why. It's not even bad tanks. It's just me being a bad player. I do not know where I want to go in this matchup. I think I'm just, I should have stayed in the back, like the IS or the Tiger, the other two tier 7 heavies. Ooh, hopefully, hopefully the Tiger 1 will be as brazen as it was to come down the river in the first place and keep going. Looks like I'm getting my wish. Oh, oh no. Oh, maybe. No. Yes. I'm hoping I get the side of the Type 4, which I can pen most of the time, I want to say, some of the time. Oh my gosh, the Type 4. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh no, it's looking right at me. Oh wow, so lucky to just eat it in the track. I'm going to take out his track. Call out that artillery shot. Yeah, good damage. Oh, that hurts so bad, though. Oh, the other King Tiger C is gonna snipe me now. Oh, God. This is a bad place. I don't want to be here. Oh, my goodness. I am now completely surrounded by enemy vehicles, and I'm dead. Awful, awful day for me keeping it in the desert. I decided to end on the M10 RBFM because that's the vehicle I started with and that's kind of the vehicle that headed this video. But keeping it desert themed, we're at El Haluf and we are in a pretty good matchup. Just a few tier 6s. This is not my first choice place for sniping on this map. It's usually right on top of this thing before they change it so you couldn't get to it. But I'm hoping to pick up a few shots here, and then I'm going to have to eventually move over to the 1 and 2 lines. 
and go up this middle part, which is where all the action will happen. Because again, this is not a sniping tank destroyer, but I'm going to see if my luck with the gun handling is still running. Now my luck with the King Tiger ran out trying to track that Type 4 and getting surrounded, but again, that was my fault for just being out in the middle of a map in a heavy tank. It's honestly a misplay by my on my part. And I'm beginning to think that my view range is not long enough to spot these vehicles. The Stritzvang M42 is saying just outside of my view range. This is actually, should have never been my oh, miss. Everything's just outside of my view range. This is a bad vehicle to snipe with. But I used to snipe with medium tanks over here, so I just assumed. Miss again. There we go, finally get a hit. Get another hit. Can I kill him? Yes, I can! Amazing! Wow, I did not think this vehicle was going to be able to pull that off. I missed the Cromwell, though, but that was a blind fire, so it's bound to ha- Oh, no! <laughs> I did not expect that. Great expectations. I'm trapped. I'm going to try and make the best out of this situation, though, and shoot. Oh, my goodness. Alright, tracks are up, please. Oh, man. Who is spotting me, by the way? I think those are just blind fires, so I'm not spotted, but I'm definitely getting out of dodge. Ooh, that was a close one. I really thought I was going to die. Praise the booble. I am alive. Wow, it looks like our heavy tanks... Why, wow, why, were, why was a KV-2 sniping on this map? This player died because he was stupid. Don't look at his name, I feel bad now. I don't actually think he's stupid, I really. I hope he doesn't find me. <laughs> In other matches and wrecked me for saying that. I'm just... I'm not saying he's stupid, I'm just saying he shouldn't be sniping in a KV-2 on this map. In this position. And even if he was, he should have done it smart enough to not die. But, I mean, I'm not really adding much to the game anymore because... Oh my god! Are you serious? Well, that sucks. How did he spot me from there? That's amazing view range. Oh my god. Well. <laughs> now I am the fool. Died exact, probably exactly like that KV2 died. It sucks. So yeah, I that is stock Wolverine. That view range isn't gonna really outmatch much, especially when you're not top tier. But I should have had coded optics on this. I've just been putting that off because I don't want to invest money into this tank destroyer. But tonight, I should I think it could be a little bit better than I gave it credit for. But on a sadder note, I think this is gonna be a defeat. <laughs> And so this will be, yeah, it's going to be a defeat. Oh, that sucks. I did not really help my team out that much. I did get that cool AMX kill that I didn't think I was going to get. I was actually, I was genuinely surprised that I got that, but ultimately, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference to how this game turns out. I'll, I'll look at the post game stats and see what happens. Alright, so yeah, that was a defeat. Only 9,000 credits, puts me towards the bottom end of the team, did almost no damage, only 320. So bad game all around. I wouldn't say my luck ran out, that was just a big misplay on my part. One, being so careless and getting spotted, and then two, just dying exactly the same as the KV-2 did. Uh, looks like the King Tiger battle finished, I don't know if that was a defeat. No, it was a victory. Alright, made 22,000 credits, 905 experience, so that's nice. I may do another game in the M10 and then call it a night because I don't want to end on that. I don't want to end on a defeat. But all around, feeling pretty positive about the games tonight.
feeling pretty positive not too shabby I'm not doing too great but I don't hate the M10 as much as I did when I made the review yesterday so or earlier today I don't remember when I did it but whenever I did really hated this vehicle but I think it might actually have some merit even though I still don't know why they put an American geared tank destroyer to help train French tank destroyers I'll never understand that but I don't hate it as much so maybe one more game all right on cliff again I don't know why I keep going to check the names it's like I just cannot remember where I'm at today and I decided on yeah one more game in the M10 hopefully better Obviously, right off the bat, I am low tier in a tier 7 game, so this is terrible for me. But I'm going to stay in the back here around the K5 area and try and snipe across. Now, more ideally, I would go where the zoo... What is that? 140? What zoo is on the team? Zoo 2244 is. And play the 1 and 2 lines, which is pretty much where my vehicle belongs. But... I've seen some tank destroyers pull off this position, and I'm going too far. Now when I say I've seen some tank destroyers, I, I don't know if they're experienced players and they're really good and I should emulate them, or if they're just people like me who have no idea what they're doing in a tank destroyer. Now, yeah, this looks nice. We'll find out. Oh my god, if I don't flip my tank, please, please, oh. Oh man, that would have sucked. <laughs> that would have been a quick end to this game. missed the T-30s. I feel like he can see me. Okay, he can. Amazing. Yeah, so the camo factor on this vehicle is nothing great. Also, it doesn't really help if you just sit out in front of everything. But hopefully now I'll be more protected. Hit him in the engine. Second one, set him up. Nope. It did stop the engine, but I didn't actually get the kill there. There's a P-43 making its way all the way around. I really hope it doesn't get too close to me. I'm going to actually turn my tank around, and hopefully we'll be able to catch him unawares. Even though he knows I'm here, so probably not. We'll see. We'll play this one by ear. Hopefully the panther will back me up. Oh, I didn't have to. He's all the way over there. Thought I just saw the panther. Nope. We're losing this game, and I don't want to say it's because I'm not doing enough to support my team, but I am literally doing nothing, so... That could be a problem. Miss that shot. Yes, yeah, so that is the one thing this tank doesn't do well, but again, per my review, it's not something it's advertised to do well. A short barreled, really quick firing weapon is not supposed to be able to fire long range. Should have hit that shot though. Come on. Who's that? Okay, this is not looking good for me. Penetrate his lower plate pretty easy. He's another tier 5, so I'll have no trouble with him. It's these other bigger vehicles I'm worried about. Alright, hit him in his cupola. And I'm pretty sure he can see me. Oh, yeah, because there's an Italian. Ah! Of mice and men! That was awful. I should have seen that one coming. But yeah, I got completely surrounded because I tunnel visioned and didn't see the Italian tank right next to me. So, looks like I will be ending tonight on a defeat. So, whoop de doo for me. And I tried. Well, I didn't try. In this I didn't really try, I'll be honest. I wanted to try, but I do not know how to play the Wolverine effectively, much less any other 
tank destroyer. Though my team, I don't know what the heavy tanks are doing camping around this area here, so. I don't think it's not all my fault, so I'm gonna tell myself. 13,000 credits, 318 experience, bottom of. Oh, wow! Top 4 and damage done. Okay, so then it's definitely the team. Because if I did that much damage more than everybody else, yeah. Look, the Excelsior didn't do anything, the Zoo 122 didn't do anything, our Scout, nothing. Alright, I feel better. Still a terrible defeat, still pretty bad for this tank destroyer, like, not good. But, overall assessment on all the tanks I played, I think the King Tiger captured is still a wishy-washy vehicle, 4 out of 10. Fun to play, interesting a top tier or, or mid tier. When you're bottom tier, it'll never work out. The M10 RBF, RBFM, I always forget the M, is much better than I said it was in my review. When you get into games like I just was, there's obviously not a lot you can do. But, like the first game of the video where I got those three light tank kills right away and all that. Um, pretty fun. Pretty fun vehicle. I think this has changed my opinion. As always, please thumb up if you like this video and want to see other things like it. I don't know if you like these little gameplay reels of vehicles. If you do, please let me know and I'll make more of them. If you want to get notified for any of the other videos, like other videos I'm going to make, for example, the review I'm going to do on the Sherman Firefly and the T-34B, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate the support. And as always, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.